Okay, well, that sucked. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and this is Ordinary Plant Girl. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, thank you for spending more of your time with me. As you saw by the intro, we are repotting some plants today. So if that is something you are interested in seeing, please stick around. <sighs> You're trouble. You are trouble. <laughs> got a few things that I have to do. Uh, I've got a couple of plants here that you have not seen yet. Um, I did get them recently, but they have been acclimating. I didn't really um, say anything about them. But here we are today, and one of them, I've actually already got a name for this plant because it's just going to be chaotic. So let me show you the plants that I'm going to be repotting today. And we're going to start with this one because it just keeps falling over. Oh my goodness keeps falling over constantly. And it is, well, let me get it out of here. This is my Philodendron Gloriosum dark form. I have wanted a dark form for a really long time. And it took me a while to actually take the plunge and get it. I can't remember offhand right now how much it was. Um, if I look it up, I will put it on the screen for you. But yeah, just this plant is amazing. Now I didn't want to repot it yet because I've been waiting for this leaf here to unfurl. But the problem is, is as you can see, it's already starting to crawl out of the pot. And you know how plants move throughout the day with the light and it keeps falling over. It, it just, it, I'll go to sleep at night, I'll wake up, it'll have toppled over. And it j actually just did that again. And that's why I'm saying that I just, it, it's a dark form, it's a chaotic little monster, and I mean, this one, this one is just pure chaos for me. Now, when it comes to repotting this one, I have a little bit of a problem. Because I do only want to go one size up. So I believe this is a three inch pot and this is a 4.5. Yes, this is a 4.5 inch. And even then, once it's in here, it's literally already at the edge. But because of my previous issues with Gloriosums, stay, stay, stick. Have to prop you up. <gasps> see, see what I mean? It's just, it's chaotic, chaotic with this plant all the time. Um, what was I saying? Oh, because of my issues with the regular Gloriosum, you'd actually wonder why I would get the dark form, but I just, I couldn't pass it up this time. Um, we're gonna see. I'm hoping. I mean, this is the largest Gloriosum I have ever um, received. So I'm hoping that because it's more mature, we might not have those same issues. And I think I've actually nailed it. Well, with one of the Gloriosums anyway. We'll see. That's, that's a side note. But anyway, the um, Gloriosum Dark Form is going to be one of the ones that I repot today. And then another one that I recently got that you didn't know about was my Philodendron Soderoi. So it does look predominantly more silver than anything else, and that's fine. What I want to do is I want to get this one on a pole soon. I think I only have one pole right now. And that's what it's going to be for, is going to be for this one. I do have to order more poles, but it has a, I have a couple of more that I do want to put on them. And side note, I did not know that the Soderoi Aff is a crawling plant. I have it on a pole. So when I found out that was it was a crawler, which makes sense with why the internal spacing is so short, when I found out it was a crawler, I wanted to take it off that pole but it's already rooted itself into the pole. 
So now I kind of don't know what to do, but that is, that is another story. But for today, I am going to be putting this little soda Roy on a pole. I'm so excited to have this one because I love my Majestic. We all know that. Um, I love the soda Roy AF and to have an actual soda Roy, I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. So we're going to put this one into a little bit of a bigger pot. Um, not too much bigger, but it's just going to get a little bit of an upsize. The next one is my Philodendron Roseo Cataphyllum. So these were propagations that I took. They've been in here since September 11th, 2022. It actually says, not that, oh, there it says right there. I labeled it. Um, there are two in here, which I think I'm going to pot together. I do have one currently that's potted up. It's not doing that great, but that was like my, my tester figure it out plant. It's growing now, but it's kind of had a little bit of a rough life. This, the one though, has been in a prop box almost the entire time. When I first put the propagations in here, it did just have a dome lid on top of it. As they got bigger, I took, the, took them off and I put them in my bin. Um, if you saw my what's propping video, then you would have seen them. And it was significantly smaller in there. And there is currently a new leaf coming on one of them right in here. But yeah, so I do want to, I want them to pot, I, I want them to pot, I want to pot them together because I actually think it looks super cute, all nice and bushy like that. I know it's going to change once it grows up, but it is an amazing, amazing little plant. So that one is going to be finally put into soil because it definitely needs more nutrients that, than what is in here. I did have slow release fertilizer in here, but... We're gonna, we're gonna give it the, the grown-up stuff now. And last, the last one, I can't pronounce the botanical name for it, but it is a Drymonia, blah, 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 whatever the rest of that says. So if you saw my import video that I did back in March, then you would have seen that when I got this plant, all the leaves pretty much died off of it. I took a chance at rehabbing it, and this is where we're, we are now. So this is the Drymonia now. Isn't that gorgeous? You'll look at the back. I don't know if you'll be able to tell them because of my blue lights, but they do have a blushing red back. They're, all of the leaves are like that. So this has been in my bin. The, since I rehabbed it. We have roots coming out the bottom. But I'm, I don't know if you can see how fine. The roots are super, super fine. You probably can't even see them in there. It's kind of focusing on my hand instead of the... Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I have never had one of these before. I have never seen one of these before. So this entire journey with this plant is just an experiment in I'm trying not to kill it if you're me but um I really want I really want this one to survive this was a gift and I will have to pop a picture in here for you to show you what the leaves look like because they're pretty much all green right now but they will have coloring in them this one sort of does the leaf is really damp though because it's been in the bin. Here's praying that it's not like a high humidity lover. But all I can say is that it did not ship well. If you order these from Equigenera, be prepared. It did not ship well, but it bounced back amazingly so far. So these are the four plants that we are going to repot today. Uh, you can see I've already got my mix ready and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the usual, point you down and we are going to get these guys all potted up. Okay, hopefully you can hear me okay. So I'm going to start with the Gloriosum Dark Form and it turns out that I have 
a long terracotta pot. Oh my goodness. Right here. I have fertile. Oh yeah, that's right. That was holding you up. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, so jeez. Oh, terracotta. T terracotta is not. Not my best friend. Oh, this is dirty. So there we go. It's <clears throat> not overly large like my other ones are. And I think it is just going to be perfect for now for this little guy. Or big guy, I guess. So there's that. So stay. Now I've got my soil mix. Oops, right here. Already mixed up and we're just gonna throw this in here you might have seen that I threw some Lekka in here I don't normally but I just have a little bit of Lekka that's kind of just sitting around doing nothing so I figured that I would just throw it in here and see what happens <gasps> Jeez, see what I mean just all it does is fall over all the time. So I'm actually really glad that I am doing this today. So let's get this out of here. Push it like that. Okay, better, better. So yeah, you can see like just by the size of my hand that it's not a really big um, pot. And it'll do what I need it to do, hopefully, right now. So one thing I don't do is I don't, I don't tend to overly loosen the soil that the plants are already in. Because for the most part, unless they're bought from a big box store. If I buy a plant from a big box store, I pretty much take all of the soil off of it because it usually comes infested with something. But this coming from North Shore Tropicals, because we know that's where I love to get my plants from. Now you can't see anything because there's a giant leaf in your way. All right. Um, but I trust the mediums that Lauren has her plants in, so I don't worry about it too much. I can't even say too much. I don't worry about it at all. I have never second guessed anything that I've gotten from there. All right. So the mix that I made is primarily for my philodendrons and alocasias. Um, I have a different mix for my anthuriums that I use, but These guys are pretty tough and I did make it a little less chunkier than I would because I'm putting it in terracotta. So I've actually made it a little bit more dense and I feel weird about this because it wants to twist and I'm hoping that it just stays put. Okay. So see, even now it's leaning over like it's gonna pull the pull the base of the plant right out of the pot. So how am I gonna fix this? Um, what I'll have to do is stabilize it with something until it anchors in itself. It does have roots that are poking out all along this node here. So I don't think it will take that long to situate itself. But in the meantime, I need to put something in there that will stop it from leaning. For now. Because it's not like I can, I don't think I can pin it down either. Or 
just gonna squish okay I can see that popping like a top right out of there I need to find something else um one second okay I have an idea okay this is this is this is gonna be this is gonna be a thing all right Now let's see if I can make this this idea work. Let's see if we can. Because what I want to do is make sure no clue if this is gonna work or not but that's just gonna fall right over I already know it but hopefully I cut enough off of here once it stabilizes, I'll cut the twine off, so I'm not really concerned with how it looks at the moment, which actually isn't too bad. Huh, that actually worked out really well, except that I misjudged my lengths here. Um, but I'm not going back to redo that, so. Okay. made it work. All right. Well, look at that. I'll tie it in another knot or ten just to make sure. So once it's stabilized, I will Um, once it's stabilized, I can take the twine off and it'll be good to go. So that, I'm really hoping that I did not... <clears throat> I'm really hoping that I did not mess up this leaf. I just couldn't wait anymore because it just kept falling over and over and over. All right, next. Well, now, um, I just need, this needs to be washed out, so I'm gonna grab a, do I have a three inch pot? No, I think the closest I've got is a four. Um, a four's not bad for the Soderoy. Ooh, except I can't put it on a pole if it is and something that small. You know what? I'm not even going to be able to put it on a pole. Not yet. Because I don't have a pole small enough. And even if I did... Huh. I feel like I didn't think these things through. Okay. Um... Okay, yeah, we're just, we're gonna put it in a four inch pot. That's what we're doing. And the next time I go to repot it, I will put it on a pole. We'll let it get a little bit bigger before I do that now. So the Soderoy. Okay, so you know what I've noticed about the Drymonia already? 
So I took this out. Sorry to like, I, I, I got side, sidetracked because um, I was looking at it. But you would have heard me earlier saying that I hope that I'm not gonna have to keep it in high humidity in order for it to live. And since it's been out, which has only been a couple of hours, since it's been out, these leaves have started to get floppy. And the moss is wet. It's not even damp, it's wet. <sighs> so, what does that mean for the Drymonia? Sorry, once I saw that it was flopping, I had to look at it right away because I don't know if transplanting this now is gonna help. These are the youngest leaves though. The older leaves are still firm, but now I don't feel confident in transplanting this plant. Um, I think I'm going to wait for it to get bigger. And on top of that, if I have to keep this in high humidity, I'm gonna have to find, um, I'm gonna have to find either a terrarium situation or a cloche situation that I'm gonna have to put it in. So yeah, I am not gonna transplant this one today because I'm basically scared that after all of that, that it is gonna die. So I'm going to go put this back in the bin. Now that was actually kind of sad because I was excited to put that one, um, get that one potted up and everything. And now that is just not gonna happen. And that is super sad to me. Because I'm really interested in it. But from what I'm seeing so far, if I see that those leaves plump up, being in higher humidity, um, then that is, it's gonna have to live in a covered situation. What is happening? Okay. Um, so here I've got just a four inch pot. And I do this every time. That's like okay. You know what? Good enough. All right. So let's take a look at this. First things first. Okay. So. Okay. Rid of the big scoop, change it for a little scoop. I guess in a way it works out because I made enough mix for all four, but the dark form ended up taking a lot more of my soil mix. So let's see what we got going on here. And this one dries out super fast, like it's dry now. Okay, so I'm just gonna loosen it a little bit. And I got too much of that in there. Ah! Well, that is bone dry and I just watered it. Oh, she also has Osmocote in here, I can see. So we are definitely gonna, oh, shove that back in there. Not wasting the fertilizer. Around. So I'm gonna have to remember 
not to fertilize it at least for a little while until the Osmo coat runs out. I'm I was not I need a bigger space. The big table that I used to film at is actually it has my tripod on it right now. And it's usually the one that I use when I'm putting plants on poles or something like that. But today it is just housing my tripod. Because I wanted to see what it was like at this angle. So I will be inoculating these because I have been inoculating with great white and I definitely have to say that as far as my anthuriums and my alocasias are concerned that I have had a lot of success with that. Okay, so there's the Sodoroy. What I don't know if I should do is though, is should I, maybe I should stake it? Just, little, just like with a little one for now. Because if I do that, I should do it now. So maybe what I'll do is I've got my, I've got a trusty chopstick. Since this is still a little dude, I don't want to mess with it too much. Where's my tape? There it is. Oh, that's really long. I don't need one that long. Or do I? I could go back to my twine, but I don't want to. So I just, I just want to keep it upright, which is what I am attempting to do. Because it is leaning forward a little bit. So this is just going to be a loose little tether just to keep it up like that. And that's it, so there we go. It's my little baby Sodoroy. Okay. Oh, now here comes the, uh, here comes the fight. And before I pick a vessel, for my philodendron rosio catophyllums, I'm gonna see how their roots are before I do anything. I've wanted to do this for so long. I still have one more propagation that's in in the bin, um, but the leaves haven't even reached like the top rim of the cup yet. So that is my my signal to repot it is when the leaves are coming out of the top of the over top of the rim and they have been in there since September so I mean that's a really long time I know a lot of people don't like using moss for propagations and I totally get it I do I just have so much success in moss that I can't give that up I have success in perlite too, but not as much as I do in moss. So that is a, that is a big thing for me. I trust my process when it comes to moss. Um, rarely do I see anything anymore anyway that I put in moss dye, unless I have unfortunately moved it too much. Um, if I have either switched mediums or messed with a plant too much in, in moss, sometimes it'll die. Or more often than not, if the, um, if the propagated piece wasn't healthy enough to survive being in moss. Okay, so this is actually a really long root. It seems really thin, though, for a philodendron. But, I mean, they're all different, right? 
Um, and I'm pretty gentle for the most part. I think these are definitely going to have to be potted together because I think they're pretty intertwined. But what I'm trying to do is find out where the roots are coming from because you can see the black chunks of stem if my camera would focus for me the okay oh can you, there we go there so you can see the black chunks of stem there and they're still firm it's just those were the chunks that I put in to propagate from. Those were my node cuttings, my wet sticks. So, <sighs> yeah, I just want to see, can I get them separated? Well, there's one root that has attached itself. So I got them apart and this bunch of roots right here is actually coming out of the new growth. And then there is a really tiny cluster coming out of this wet stick situation. So I got as much moss as possible off of there, off of that one. See so now I'm, ugh, I'm my whole idea was to pot them up together but now I'm like should I pot them up separately because look at look at that little cluster and look at that little cluster but if you put them to both together then no nope, I'm putting them together I am that we oh hey look at that I was saying that I was gonna look up the price for the gloriosum dark form right there $28 but um, yeah, I trust that there is nothing wrong with this one. So I am literally just going to, I lost a leaf off of something. I'm literally just gonna pot it up in there right now. The amount of moss that's on the roots right now, I'm not worried about. I have had problems in the past with leaving too much moss on the roots and then having some issues. But I think that my medium is chunky enough where that is not going to be a problem. Besides that, there we are, the Philodendron Roseocatophyllum. All right, so now that that's done, I've got Roseocatophyllum. We've got the Philodendron Soderoi. And we've got the, oh, the dark form. So I'm going to inoculate all of these guys.
It gets west facing sun in the afternoon and not for very long, but this is where the Gloriosum dark form is gonna be. Okay guys, that is it for me. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are all safe and well. Please like and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.